This video is brought to you by Pepsi. It sure ain't Coke. Hey there everyone. Okay, going to do some work on the old John Deere here. I'm going to do a tune-up on the engine. Just plugs and uh, fuel filter. Earlier I was out on the uh, racing mower. It worked perfectly. I had to get some anger out. Uh, some douchebag in a red, Hon a red Hyundai car uh, cut off me and Emily and the dog as we were walking. Oh, I, uh, I had a few choice words for the guy. So we're home now and I had to uh, get out my anger and I took my anger out on the thin pedal on the racing mower. If you guys know what I mean. But um, let's see if this here will fire up. I know, no engine cover. But uh, it'll be coming on soon. I'm either going to be still replacing this carburetor with another one that I have if the uh, tune-up doesn't uh, solve the running issues. Or I'm going to just leave it till the spring. Um, we'll see. We're going to see about that. See what, um, if the tune-up solves the um, idling issue or not. These plugs that are in here are ones I just found off the shelf. Uh, I actually had plugs in this engine that do not, that do not belong. I do not run E3s anymore. I agree with Randy Computer Geek. Like I made a video about E3s quite a long time ago, saying how much they suck and uh, E3s do suck. So actually, I had E3s in here just to block the cylinders, so no crap got in there. But uh, let's see if it'll fire up. It's true cold start. Uh, it has not ran since last weekend. I believe that's choke. Bring up the idle a bit. I also think there could still be something going on with the uh, main jet and the carburetor. Um, this one here might still be a little bit plugged because these carburetors, I mentioned this before, they 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 royally suck. Um, to even get the main jet, you gotta take the entire carburetor apart. So also, I know my uh, choke is a little bit out of adjustment. So as you guys know, I uh, rebuilt two choke cables uh, that were both throttle cables from. Craftsman's really from Craftsman's with V twins, so I'm pretty sure the choke is sticking on a bit, and when it's off, it's not quite in the uh, right position. So there's a couple little issues going on with the choke, but hey, it fired up, and it does run pre reasonably good at high idle. So it's making me think it's just that main jet when it's at low idle, um, plugged up, uh, plugged up in there a little bit. But I'm going to change out the plugs, change out the fuel filter. That fuel filter is the uh, one that was on this when I got this tractor. So it's pretty old. And the guy who used to have this said the gas that was in there was pretty old. So anyways, that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to do that and uh, we'll see how it runs. But I'm not putting the engine cover back on until this engine's running really good. Or at least running better than it is. But if I have to wait till next year... Uh, or sorry, the spring, to get it running better, I'll put the engine cover back on for the winter. It just makes it easier to store it with the engine cover on. It's 
running a bit better, but still surging a little wee bit on high idle, quite a bit on low idle. I just did the plugs and fuel filter. The plugs are pretty black, but it seems like it's sucking air between the intake and this part of the intake, the two parts of the intake where the carburetor attaches. So when I put this together, I just put the two new gaskets in there. I did not put any uh, sealant around the gaskets. I know Donnie Boy 73 always suggests doing that. I was kind of in a hurry on doing this and I failed to do it. But I do have gasket sealant right here and right here. So I know those that part of the intake is good. So there's one of two things that's causing me an issue. It's either sucking air through this part of the intake right here or it's still that main jet. I'm leaning towards it sucking air right here. I think there's a bit of a gap right there. But I'm not 100% sure on that. But when I was putting it together, it kind of looked like there was a gap there. So I'm going to pull that apart possibly. Put some sealant in there with the gasket that's there. Just a real thin layer. That's all you really need on both sides. Put the gasket in there. And while I'm in there, I'll do this as well. And I'll have to redo the gaskets on here. These actually have uh, what they call donut gaskets in there. But the part supplier said they're unavailable. I don't know if how true that is. The part supplier I used, I don't really like them too much. Um, for some stuff they're good, but for other stuff they are not. And that's just my opinion of them. And I know other people have the same opinion of that shop. So it's sometimes good to buy online, but it's sometimes not good to buy online. Uh, if you want quick turnaround on stuff, go local. But if you don't really need a quick turnaround. Also, when you're actually physically talking to somebody, you can explain the part you need, you can tell them the actual part number. When you're on a website, something can always get screwed up, in, in my opinion. Uh, like it happened with my little ultrasonic cleaner that I had. I know I didn't do any videos of it because I sent it right back. It was way too small. The uh, eBay ad mis that misrepresented what it, the actual item was, and I got a full refund. So, there's where we're at on this. Also, I want to mention I am still under the $100 budget on this tractor. I think I spent 30 on paint, if I remember correctly. Uh, total of $9 on the gaskets. The gasket maker I'm not including in that budget because that's something I needed anyways. So that's the 30 on the paint, 9 on the gaskets, so $39. And I spent $8.00 each I think on the plugs five or eight each on the plugs and the, the filter was 14 so you guys do the math I'm still under a hundred dollars and I think I don't have to buy anything else for this tractor I think I'm pretty good I gotta put some air in the front tires so when I was driving um, this one here was looking very flat so anyways that's where we're at on this for right now someone's just turning around in my driveway but I will talk to them later please keep writing like always and uh, please try and comment